Buckholtz Plant Introductions, Part 7. The Buckholtz Plant Introduction series surprises itself, or me anyway, when I reflect that particular selections have already begat their own progeny, and I suppose that's a cycle that could continue further. I collected Acer Palmatum Higasayama, also known as Hikasayama, early in my career, and I always sold out of the few that I had, especially since propagation was problematic with sparse, twiggy scion wood. Today, I don't even have one on the place, but I do grow a seedling from Higasayama, which was discovered by Bob Baltzer, Oregon, and named Alpenwise, Alpine White. It was deemed to be a strong grower and more colorful besides. And I found that to be the case in my garden, where my first tree, originally codenamed by me as Baltzerhig, now soars to about 30 foot tall in just 25 years. But alas, my huge specimen of Acer Palmatum Alpenwise no longer produces quality propagation wood either. And I failed to keep back up stock because the five to eight year old plants were in high demand. Today, a widespreading Acer Palmatum Fire Glow is pushing into the side of Alpenwise, and both of them are so large that they're stuck there with each other like in a poorly considered arranged marriage. Even though the Fire Glow is loaded with seed, only a few of the ruby red bendanglements germinate from under it every year. Under the Alpenwise, however, a lawn of sprouts appear without fail and they begin the light green. But by midsummer, some leaves show the white variegation. One year, we potted up a hundred or so seedlings from Acer Palmatum Alpenwise, and most were sold at a small pot size. One was kept aside to watch with an X Alpenwise label, and it was noticeably variegated with pink and white. More colorful than its mother tree, I began propagating from that one seedling as soon as I could, and it was christened with the name eye candy. A name may be a little too cute, but apt when you see a crop of three-year-olds in the greenhouse. So, the genealogy starts out with Acer Palmatum Higasayama, the old cultivar that was present on Japanese maple lists as early as the 1880s, and whose name translates to Umbrella Mountain. For no reason decipherable to me, then Higasayama begat Acer Palmatum Alpenwise as the second generation, and then Alpenwise begat Acer Palmatum Eye Candy as the third generation. Did the grandmother improve from the first to the third generation? I think so. And in that sense, the biblical-like begatting progression has resulted in some degree of horticultural advancement. I will sow seed from eye candy if the opportunity arises, and we'll see if we can continue the improvement. In 2016, a specimen of eye candy from Buckholtz Nursery was grounded at the New York Botanical Garden in Judy and Michael Steinhardt's newly renovated maple collection, along with another dozen or more cultivars from Buckholtz. And it's my hope to visit these old friends again to document their development since their planting dedication. Almost daily, I walk past the original tree of Acer Palmatum Purple Ghost in our display garden, and within the easy reach of hundreds, maybe thousands, of nearly ripe Samaras, and they all seemingly cry out, plant me, plant me, I might be the next great maple discovery. I mentioned in Buckles Plant Introductions Part 4 that Purple Ghost has been the most commercially successful of the Ghost series, and that it and most others in the series originated as seedlings from Acer Palmatum Kasagayama. The mother tree was introduced in 1978, according to the Vertree's Gregory Japanese Maples. And the name commemorates Mount Kasagi in the Kyoto Prefecture. The so-called mountain rises only 288 meters from the banks of the Kizu River but it is home to mysterious rock formations and a wealth of oak and maple forests, and was a favorite place for moon gazing in the Edo period, 1603 to 1867. 
The temple on top has historically been occupied by famous monks and with the Yamabushi warrior hermits who possessed supernatural powers. Whether or not you buy onto the supernatural history of the mountain, one could suppose that Acer Palmatum Kasagiyama was discovered naturally growing in that area, or perhaps not. Maybe it was conjured up by the Yamabushi and endowed with surreal foliage colors to beguile and subdue their enemies. Who knows? But if a legend from a thousand years ago still resonates today, it could be at least partially based on fact. Let's again review the begat situation. Acer Palmatum, Kasagiyama, begat most of the offspring cultivars that comprise the Ghost series. Most notably the selection's Amber Ghost, detailed in Buckle's Plant Introductions number 6, and Purple Ghost, an equally fantastic cultivar which also wonderfully begets. So, from the second generation Purple Ghost, we have been begiven, or have been begotten, a number of further third generation selections that have proved superior to or at least interesting variations of the purple ghost mother tree. One such is Acer Palmatum Celebration, a seedling that was germinated in about 2007 and was eventually propagated and introduced in 2014. It was one of the two recent Buckholtz introductions, along with Acer Palmatum Strawberry Spring, that beguiled French maple expert Guy Malot a dozen years ago. And a favorable opinion of both cultivars was seconded by the Mr. Maple Company of North Carolina at the Fall 2022 Maple Society Symposium. I have produced about a thousand celebrations in the past decade, and this year, 2023, we will graft as many signs as we can find. As I have whined previously in the series account, the problem with new introductions is that if they win popular acceptance with the gardening public, then it's difficult not to sell them to the clamoring retail nurseries who want it all they can get, while still having enough stock to propagate for future demand. That balance of money today, much needed, versus future sales, which are never guaranteed, has dominated my entire career. I have said before that there's an ongoing battle at Buckholtz Nursery with the sales department constantly vying with the propagation department. And the dilemma that exhausts me is that I had both departments. Acer Palmatum Spring Plum originated as a seedling from Acer Palmatum Purple Ghost. It germinated about 2007 and in about 2018 the first tree was sold. After growing thousands of purple-red cultivars such as Bloodgood, Fireglow, Red Emperor, etc., one develops an appreciation for the brown reds or plum reds, or at least I do. Spring Plum's new growth is a cherry cherry red with small dainty leaves, but the tree itself lacks vigor and grows at a less than half the rate as a typical red upright. What that means is little or no profit for the grower, and since propagation wood is usually thin and weak, I only produce a few each year. At its best, spring plum is a delight, but good luck finding a grower to produce it. The occurrence of black holes is a phenomenon that has long fascinated me, that everything gets sucked in and nothing can escape. I guess it has been conclusively proven that they exist in outer space, but they're very present on Earth as well. When I developed Flora Farm, I groaned when my money flushed goodbye down the hole as I developed the infrastructure of roads, irrigation, drainage projects, etc. Nursery supplies like tools, grafting blades, keys, labels in the garden, toilet paper, and the like. They also get sucked into the dark void, and it happens silently when my back is turned. One tries to fend off the negativity of black holes with humor, even if the attempt is feeble. A very dark-leaved seedling from Acer Palmatum Purple Ghost arose in about 2008, and like its mother tree, some black veining is visible. But overall darkness prevails, so it was named Black Hole, 
and propagated about 2015. I have a row of three stock trees at Flora Farm and all are vigorous, broad and bushy, and always loaded with excellent cyan wood. I sold the original a couple years ago and it went to a good home, the Mr. Maple Company of North Carolina. I can't give black holes estimated size and shape as a mature tree because I whack the sides and top heavily for scions on my trees. Acer palmatum frosted purple is quite distinct to the maple connoisseur, much different than the parent Acer palmatum purple ghost, the grandmother Acer palmatum kasagiyama, and its sister or brother Acer palmatum black hole described above. For me, the speckled foliage is more fun than the others above, at least in spring and early summer. And of course, its luminance will vary depending on full sun versus a more shady exposure. Expecting that my nursery career will conclude, and hopefully sooner than later, I have allowed introduction originals to go to good customers where they'll be valued and cared for. And the parting is self-justified when I reason that I have a number of younger starts to continue propagation. Dr. B of Illinois now has the original frosted purple, and I have seen photos of many buckled trees in his wonderful garden. However, the good doctor has landscaped his office also, and his daughter's home, and maybe others around the block, so I don't know which property contains the frosted purple. I'm blessed to have a market for my trees, and we're proud to supply some of the top independent garden centers in the USA and Canada. But it's especially rewarding when the trees find a home with an avid gardener, and even better when he buys year after year. I look forward to spending my retirement on a national tour to wish my trees and the gardener well, and that would be a perfect conclusion to a long and challenging career. Acer Palmatum Miss Maple is a lovely selection, and she possesses fluid feminine qualities that are on display throughout the seasons. Like attractive women who always look good even though their appearance is never the same. I was initially hesitant to name and propagate Miss Maple, but the sweetheart kept luring me, and I think it was about 2016 when it went into production. I realized that a much higher percentage of gardeners would choose a purple-red cultivar, more like the Acer Palmatum Purple Ghost parent, than the cream green selection Miss Maple. But the latter has a luminous presence that can enlighten a dark corner in the landscape. That said, Miss Maple doesn't require deep shade, and I have grown it with full sun exposure in our blistering 100-degree Fahrenheit summers. She is not a total softy, and in autumn she kicks up her heels and burns to a fiery red, and I think even Old Moses would be impressed. Old Moses and a host of trumpeting angels are also very impressed with Acer Palmatum Jubilee, a 2015 introduction. In a previous blog, I wrote, Last week, I discussed some new maple cultivars that were not listed in the latest Vertrees Gregory Japanese Maples 4th Edition 2009. There are probably hundreds more due to the name every seedling mentality that maple geeks are inclined toward, myself included. Acer Palmatum Jubilee forms a vigorous tree with a bushy shape. It originated as a seedling from Acer Palmatum Purple Ghost and it is similar to Acer palmatum amber ghost, but its lobes appear more deeply divided and the color is more pink. A row of stock trees grows in full sun at Flora Farm, and it's almost an evening ritual for me to walk out and admire Jubilee. I think of the word Jubilee as rejoicing, and indeed it has a biblical connotation. Originating from Greek, Iobelos, from Hebrew, Yobel, for a trumpet or a ram's horn. Well, it was fun for me to review the third generation history of some Buckholtz introductions. I suppose the information would be tedious for those not familiar with these selections, but hopefully the photos will whet your appetite and you might even seek one or more for your garden. I cannot judge if I've improved horticulture in any way, 
but at least I've expanded the palette of garden possibilities. If you are a specialty nursery or boutique garden center wanting the rare and exceptional plants your customers love, register as a wholesale customer on BuckOltsNursery.com today.